Hey folks, this is Jason Good with the Good Life Outdoors out here at Lake Georgetown Jim Hogg Park doing some camping here over Easter weekend and I'm about to share with you a little recipe I do on the uh, cast iron Dutch oven. It's uh, venison with potatoes, real simple recipe, but thought I'd share with you. It's one of our favorites for sharing around the campfire and uh, pretty easy to do, so let's get started. So as you can see, this is a nice, simple recipe. Onions, potatoes, cream of mushroom soup, and some venison backstrap. We'll get this all cut up and get it into the Dutch oven. All right, I'm just gonna slice up some onions here. Get those going. So just chop them, slice them up. Doesn't really matter. They're just there for flavor. Nothing, nothing fancy. Just chopped onions or sliced onions. over here out of the way and slice, slice potatoes up about a quarter inch slice got a nice venison backstrap here I'm gonna slice this up butterfly it and have this ready to uh, put in the pot so I'm gonna cut it in half cut each one of these in half nice even pieces here and then I can go in here and cut almost all the way through and butterfly that out now this will help it cook a little better in the pan and the end products. I got these little steaks. Now these are great for tenderloins and we're making like filet mignon wraps and bacon around those. Those are just as good but for this purpose we're gonna put them in a Dutch oven and cook them and make them taste yummy. Okay, I'm gonna make the base layer for the Dutch oven. This is what I'm gonna be cooking over. These coals are going pretty good. They just aren't completely white yet, but that'll be okay. Here's some that are a little further down in the pot that are gonna do real well for us. So. Set that Dutch and ride down over those coals. Get to where it's somewhat level. And get to where it starts heating up. Got a little mixture of beef fat and bacon fat from some sausage and bacon I heard cooked earlier today. I'll put that down there in the bottom of that pot. Start that start heating up. Alright, we're gonna put our venison right there in the pot. Give it a quick fry on both sides. Get it nice and brown. Yeah, I can give them a quick flip. Oh yeah, it's nice. Go get some flavor for that pot as well for us to cook our onions in. Let those go for a little bit longer. I'm right back. Alright, we're gonna get these out of the way for a little bit. Make room for sauteing some onions in this wonderful, 
flavored stew here. Add just a little bit more oil to the pot there. Good flavor there. Bacon grease and sausage fat. Now we're gonna put our onions in there. Try not to lose these potatoes. They're being tricky. Add a little salt and pepper to this mix. There's the salt, there's the pepper. We'll let this cook down for a little while. Pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put the meat back in here. Let that kind of sit on top of these onions. There we go. Nice little venison steaks here. I'll go ahead and pour the juice back in. That's gonna be just adding to that flavor here. So there's that. Here. Add a little bit more salt and pepper. Just layer these potatoes on as they as they seem to fit all the way around and all the way over. And then we'll come in with our cream of mushroom soup and kind of just ladle it over the potatoes. So this will soak in over the potatoes and down and through the onions and meat. And spread that kind of around. And right now just kind of as even as we can with these rudimentary utensils here. Typically do is just add a little water to the can to rinse it out. Just like so give it a little shake and then just pour that over the top of everything. Maybe a little bit more. And there we go. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt and pepper over the top of all that. And then we're just gonna let this sit. Put the lid for the Dutch oven back on. Make sure it's got a nice solid seat. Then I think we're gonna put about 12 good coals on top of this. So count these out. Get them nice and even across the top. And there we have it. We're gonna wait about another half hour and then we'll have you ready to eat. Oh wow, that looks good. I am gonna give it just a little bit more time, just for good measure. Oh yeah, that looks good. All right, we're gonna dig down in here and find some meat. Pull it out. And on the plate. Potatoes in here. And a little sauce. And there we have it. Ready? Yes. Ready? Say yum! Yum!
<laughs> Thanks for watching.